dodge this. And now, welcome to another episode of Down the Rabbit Hole. Here's your host from FederalJack.com. It's Popeye. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another live edition of DTRH. I am back live again tonight. It is June 1st, 2016. Wow, where the hell did the year go? It's June 1st already? Anyway, I have a bunch of stuff I want to get into tonight. I started giving you guys an update last night about what was going on and what's been up, where I've been, and what's been going on with Radchick, a.k.a. Christina Consolo. And I want to hop right into that because it's important and I want to get out there. I'm going to get into a bunch of other stuff tonight, but I want to make sure I get to this first because it's super important. And last week uh, I had issues with my computer and everything, so it kind of interrupted me. So I want to take a few minutes. I want to sit down. I'm going to read you something that Christina wrote earlier today, and then I'm going to get into, as I said, uh, in my promo for the show, cutting through the matrix of BS. But first, an update on Radchick. So, as I told you last week, she was having some very serious medical issues, and that's why I've been taking time off, and that's why she has taken a, a large amount of time off. She still posts. She still does uh, you know, posts on Twitter and on Facebook, but not like she used to, and she's not hasn't been able to get into researching things as deep as she used to because she's been forced to focus on herself and there's nothing wrong with that but it it needed to be done in this situation there's nothing wrong with her taking the time off in fact that's what's needed she couldn't she expended a lot of her personal love and energy to the world for the past five years doing radio and Fukushima updates and things with weather and Wigner and everything else. I mean, she's done an amazing job, but she needs to focus that energy on healing right now. Now, healing from what, you all are going to ask. What is this condition that she's got? What's been going on? Well, Christina has a, a condition called, and I have to make sure I pronounce this properly, so I'm going to read it right from the uh, a, a med site in nebraskamed.com. It's called vertebral basilar insufficiency. It's a lack of blood flow into the brain from a problem with the arteries in your neck. You have four arteries in your neck, two in front, two in back, and the ones in the back are jacked up. And they're, in one instance, one of them is corkscrew shaped. And it causes problems if the neck moves, neck shifts here or there. It cuts off the blood supply, the blood supply or flow to the brain, causing a mini stroke. And it's a scary thing to see happen to her. And I know in her case, it's an even scarier thing for her to have to go through and experience. And it's heartbreaking to witness. Christina is very much still there. She hasn't left. She's not checked out or anything like that, but it is a very serious condition that could cause her to have a level of brain damage if left unchecked and untaken care of. And we don't know if, you know, it's caused a a certain level of damage or not. And we're going to find out as we go forward because through some very hard, tenacious work by the two of us, we were able to get her into a Uh, we'll say a specialty hospital that specializes in taking care of things like this, where she's going to get looked at by top notch doctors. And believe me, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not running around going, Oh, the medical system will save her. Yay. You know, we're going to pump her up on pills and this, but yes, there are certain things in the medical system, surgeries, if need be, that could save her. And that's what we're looking at. We need to be realistic about it. You know, singing Kumbaya and, sending her positive vibes will help her, but it won't fix the problem she has. So we've been forced to deal with the medical industrial complex to a certain degree, but where she's going is a, it's a good place. And I'm, I'm glad that we were able to get her in there. It took a lot of work, 
Uh, but she's going to be seen by specialists, and she's going to be taken care of very well. Now, these mini-stroke episodes are very scary. She passes out sometimes, and, um, you know, I, I talk her through it. I walk her through it, basically, uh, and um, we're going to get her better, and she'll be back up to par, but it is a very real, very scary situation, something she's dealing with, and it's a, again, it's a blood flow, as she would say, it's an energy issue, but um, I want to read you what she wrote, because she wrote a little uh, type up today with a, she posted a picture and she put a little write up with it and she asked me if I would read this and I'm also going to play so you guys can kind of hear what she goes through. She actually also offered to share what she goes through and uh, I've got a video that I'm going to play the audio from. It's only about a minute and minute and a half about that but it's her in our garage going through one of her episodes and she she actually was willing to let me play this because she wanted you all to kind of hear what she's going through a little bit i mean there's there's the symptoms are very wide ranging it's crazy as i said what she goes through she's she's had a tough journey the past six months and um it's been hard to to watch her go through it but i've i've been trying to take care of her as best i can and know she's in good hands and yes for those of you that aren't aware yes Christina and I are together so she lives with me here in Florida in our secret super fortified bunker somewhere in the huge state of Florida anyway uh, so that's what I've been up to for the past months now and what she's been up to for like six months and it's an interesting journey to say the least so I'm going to read you what she wrote. This is right from her. It's up on the Radchick page over on Facebook. Radchick Radiation Research and Mitigation. Update from Radchick. If I am anywhere these days, it's on Instagram. Everything else is just information overload at the moment. On occasion, I'll shoot a couple of pics when the mood strikes. Not capable of much else but the basics. Unfortunately, I had a neck circulation problem that ended up causing a brain circulation problem because the neck problem was missed, which that's true. Because of this, I had a massive stroke that took out both posterior communication arteries, which connect the circulation between the front and the back of the head. Because of this blood flow energy issue, my body is now taking compensatory actions to make up for the lack of blood flow by shooting the blood, pushing it at a high blood pressure through her head. Uh, and fast and hardcore creates a very unpleasant profile, as she would say, former medical professional, meaning what she experiences is hardcore painful. And you'll hear her in the video. It says like she feels like she's being hit in the forehead with a hammer. It also causes further damage to centers in the brain and needs to be dealt with ASAP, which I am trying to do. But good neurosurgeons seem to be in high demand these days. Hmm, I wonder why. I am taking in less info than I used to, but what I do take in is very profound. I hope to be able to communicate this properly one of these days. Popeye will talk again tonight in a bit more detail about what's going on with me. Things have gotten a bit worse just since last week. There is nothing we can do but just deal with it for now. Love you guys. And that's from Ratchik. Now, what she means by it's gotten worse is the symptoms change and... uh, the past couple episodes she's had uh, were very extremely painful and they involved uh, it involves like spinal nerve pain and then this issue with the blood flow in her neck and then these like mini stroke issues because she's got two things well uh, actually almost three things going on a a, a back issue in the spine elsewhere one up you know the neck issue and then the the brain issue brought on by the the blood flow issue so we're working all three of these and again we're we're getting her taken care of and um, we've we've had to leap over some pretty large hurdles, but in the past eight to nine days alone, we've accomplished a lot more than we had accomplished, or we were able to accomplish in months before we were able to get a firm diagnosis as to what was going on. Because for a while, nobody could understand what the hell was going on with her, because our medical industrial complex sucks, and because doctors, you know, they run a couple tests and they think they know everything, and then they turn around and they say, well, maybe it's in your head. 
they accused her of making this up at one point. Yes, she was told by one, one group of neuros, a bunch of different neuros. Ugh, they weren't even real. These guys, they, had, they could have gotten their degree from the back of a cereal box as far as I'm concerned by the way they, they dealt with her. I mean, I, I, I won't get into details, but when you have to chase people down hallways and yell at them and make them run tests and you're not the doctor, there's a problem with that. You know, when she has to dictate to, to get what proper tests to get done from her own hospital bed because they're not taking her seriously and they tell her it's all in her head. Well, I guess it's not in her head. Well, I guess maybe technically it's a blood flow issue in her head, but it's not in her head, in her head, is it? And they tell that to a lot of people. We've spoken to a lot of people in the past six months that have gone through things like this or, or other situations, and they get told the same thing by their doctors. The doctors will say the same cruel stupid thing to them. Oh, it's in your head. It must be in your head. Yeah, the pain and suffering that people go through, it must be in their head. It's all, it's all made up. It's all just mass hallucination, right? Although it's actually a really big problem that she has. Otherwise, the, the specialty hospital that she's going to wouldn't have taken her, would they? Ah, because logic. Because if they had run one more simple test instead of been so quick to push her out the door and get the next person into the bed that they could bill. Because that's what it's about at a lot of these hospitals nowadays. It's an effing revolving door. Don't worry. They'll be dealt with. That's not the point. Anyway. What Christina has been going through has been nothing short of hell. So she wanted me to give this update. I wanted to give an update. You know, the two of us felt that we owed the listeners an update as to what was going on. You know, she does so much work. She's a very public individual with her activism and all the information she puts out there. I'm a radio show host, and the two of us have kind of whoosh, disappeared to a degree. And, and I, I said this last week, and I'll say it again. I love Christina very much. She is my best friend in this world. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And she comes first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And everything else is just window dressing to me. And it'll always be that way. Her health and her well-being will always come first. So if I have to sideline myself for a little while, take myself out of the fight, I'm not quitting radio or anything like that. And she's not quitting doing her thing. But the two of us need to focus on her health and her getting better. And that's why we've been able to accomplish so much just in the past like eight or nine days. Because the two of us, once we had a firm diagnosis, we work very well as a team. And we're relentless. And we got things done. And that's where we need to focus our energy. Once she's back, she'll be back in the fight, stronger than ever, because that's how she rolls. She's one of the toughest individuals, not just women, but she's one of the toughest individuals I've ever met. And I can't tell you the amount of respect that I have for her. She's an amazing human being, and I love her very much. And I would do anything for her, and that's why I'm holding her hand and walking side by side with her through this. So... Try to be patient with, you know, the two of us taking time off. But her, again, Christina's health comes first. So with that, I want to play this video really quick that she asked me to share. Um, and then I'm going to give out a, a link for her if you guys want to uh, help out. As I said, her medical bills are pretty substantial. And uh, anything that helps her, you know, even if it's two or three bucks, and I never ask for money. And again, it's not for me. It's for her. I'm going to give out her PayPal link where you guys can help her. And uh, by the way, I know some people have been donating other places, and I'm going to get into that. I have to just let everybody know that if you've been donating to any other place other than Christina's PayPal, uh, don't because people are lying to you. But I'll, I'll get into that in a second. Anyway, let me uh, bring up this video of her, and I'm going to play this. It's about... Uh, little over a minute here and it's just her and I this is uh not too long ago this is actually um the 23rd of May so this is only you know it's in the past two weeks week and a half and this is in our garage and this is what happens this is the beginning of an attack and this one was brought on by her doing nothing more than chewing a carrot because that's the level of activity that can trigger one of these events. Chewing a carrot, and I'm not kidding. Here's the audio. This is Christina and me in the garage in the beginning of one of her attacks. Okay, so 
you're you're saying that right now you're having those black spots in your vision. Well, this this all started eating a carrot, and the carrot was like crunchy and hard, and I felt okay before that. I've had my brace on um, all of today except for like the last like three hours. I took it off. And I was chewing the carrot, and all of a sudden, like, my jaw started hurting. And I kept eating it, and then it felt like somebody hit me in the head right here with a hammer. And you right away said, let's go sit down. And as we're walking to the chair, my right leg feels like it's going to give out. And the heel, the pain in my heel is just excruciating right now. And the head pain is now, like, transferring. Um, all, all around the front, and as I'm looking at the driveway, I'm seeing places where my vision is turning dark, and it's moving around in different spots. It's dark, and then there's like bright flashes up here. Don't move your arms around too much. Are you uh, hallucinating at all, other than that? No. Okay. I'm having trouble swallowing. I can feel my neck is tightening. You want to go lay down? Before this gets worse? Yeah. Okay. So that's just a minute, minute and 20 seconds of what she goes through. And I, I, uh, I can tell you that that's nothing. I've witnessed some of the most intense, intense muscle spasms I've seen anybody ever have. Back pain, nerve pain. She's a tough cookie. She really is. She goes through hell, though. So, I'm going to give out her link. Her PayPal link. The only way, by the way, again, that you can donate to her. Let me put this in the chat room. It's paypal.me forward slash radchick. So PayPal dot me forward slash R A D C H I C K. Now, if you've been donating anywhere else, if you've been donating, if you've been anybody that over the years has been donating money to her um, anywhere else other than that PayPal link, you've been getting ripped off. If you, there's a, a website out there that she used to be affiliated with called Fukushima Facts, and um, People have been letting her know over the past, well, she's been getting emails for this uh, about this for a while, but anybody that has donated to her there, uh, she's no longer affiliated with that site. People say, hey, I donated to Fukushima Facts. She hasn't been affiliated with that site in years. So if you're donating you know, to Radchick there uh, for her work, she's not getting it. And those people who run that site or are ripping you off more on that in the future. And uh, you will see why I'm going to get into that in the future. But anyway, so you want to help Brad check out paypal.me forward slash Brad chick, paypal.me forward slash Brad chick. Even if it's only a few bucks, it'll help her out. She really needs the, uh, the help. And um, like I said, we will get through this, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I have no doubt. I will move mountains for her no matter what I have to do. We will get her fixed and back into the game ASAP. But her her health comes first, second, and third. So I wanted to take the first segment of, or most of the first segment here, and give her a proper update for her. Uh, like I said, I wasn't able to do so last week like I wanted to, and I wanted to spend a little bit more time on it. And since I'm by myself and I'm running solo tonight, I don't have any guests or anything. I can take as much time as I want to chat with you about this. So if you want to follow what's going on with Christina, she puts random updates over on uh, Instagram. And you can find her. In fact, let me read all of her links out really quick for you all since I have this up. So her Instagram is radchickyo, R-A-D-C-H-I-C-K, Y-O. If you have Instagram, then you know how to look people up on it. If you don't, then it's an app on your phone. Uh, you have to you have a smartphone to put it on. So if you have it, that's what she uses, and she can post from there to Facebook. So it's R-A-D-C-H-I-C-K-Y-O over on Instagram. Radchick Yo. 
over on Twitter, it's Rad Chick, the number four cast. Rad Chick, the number four cast. And then on YouTube, Rad Chick, Rad, well, R A D space C H I C K. And then she's got a WordPress blog too. If you go to Rad Chick blog dot wordpress dot com radchickblog dot wordpress dot com and of course you can always find and follow her over at team radeye over at twitter team underscore radeye team or well, at team underscore radeye i should say you have to have a little at symbol if you're not used to using twitter anyway so Go check her work out. She does post over on Facebook, too, on the Radchick Radiation Research and Mitigation page. She'll post links. She'll post stuff there. Um, go check out the, the Wigner group. Look it up on um, Facebook. Go look up the Wigner effect on YouTube. If you haven't watched that video, you know, Russian television picked that up. Just, just to throw one of her accolades out there for her. Russian, I know, people are going to be like, oh, my God. Russian TV. I'm not talking about RT. Like Russian, like cable, picked it up somewhere. Um, I forget how she found. It. I think Lauren Ray had told her, or somebody had sent it to her, or somebody told her. Uh, but there's a link for it, and she saw it, and it was actually the the full length Wigner effect interview that she did. That I I I actually aired. I was able to air most of it due to time. Right here on DTRH. Well, that interview that you heard, the full video is up on YouTube in a couple spots, including her channel, and it made Russian television. So the word is getting out about metal fatigue and material fatigue and everything else, because that's really what Wigner is about, right? Christina actually put that out there to kind of see if the who would pick it up and who wouldn't pick it up. It's not really just about planes falling out of the sky. It's about material breaking down, materials breaking down, metal, concrete, Humans, you know, we're, 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 we're technically made of physical material to a degree, right? Well, we break down from radiation. So anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Wigner effect, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag Wigner. Just look up Wigner effect on YouTube and the full length video should pop up. Or if you go to Rad Chick's channel, it's one of the, um, you know, last things I know she's, I think she put the full thing up there. If I remember correctly, it, it should be up there. Uh, and I know it's up on the Team Rad Eye YouTube channel as well. So it's up in a couple different spots. Go watch the full length video. Don't just watch the the listen to it. It's it actually syncs in more with the video that she made for it. And there's an amazing amount of work that she put into that video. Like over a year she worked on that thing in total. She did a lot of editing. Like I saw behind the scenes some of it, you know, a lot of the stuff she had released you know, even before she was down here. But I saw just one piece, the amount of editing she did. And I know how much effort and energy goes into video editing. So, I mean, hundreds of hours, I would say, she put into that video. Easily. Easily. Easily hundreds of hours, not to mention the interview and everything else. So go check it out, Wigner Effect, over on YouTube. And give her a little love, like I said earlier. PayPal dot me forward slash rad chick only if you can afford it if you can't i get it it's not really about money i just wanted to give everybody an update and show her a little bit of love because she certainly needs it and everybody please send her lots of love uh over on you uh youtube well you can send her uh, love on youtube but over on facebook in the comment section in the picture i posted i posted a picture that she had shared go over to there on my wall popeye dtrh on facebook and you'll see her post it's underneath my post for the show. And go show her some love in the comment section. And just let her know that you're, you're thinking about her and you hope she gets better. And send her some positive vibes. Because, you know, we're all human and we all go through the same thing. And you've all been there yourselves at one point or another where you know you're, you're feeling like crap and you're feeling down. And you could use some positive love and energy. So send her some love. 